Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone in cricket. Former West Indies player Shaquana Quinton, at the young age of 24, has put her bat and ball aside for retirement. But why retire at such an early age? Let's go back to March 2017. While fielding in a West Indies squad practice match at the Coolidge Cricket Ground in Antigua, Shaquana damaged her right knee. Immediately, she recognized that this was not an ordinary injury. What happened afterwards is nothing short of a tragedy. A month later, when the pain from the injury became unbearable, Shaquana decided to get an MRI scan done. The scan showed she had a full-blown grade 3 tear of the posterior cruciate ligament. Only then did Cricket West Indies come to her assistance. Three months after its original intervention, CWI sent Shaquana to Jamaica, where she underwent surgery. While in Jamaica, she experienced more pain. She had a mishap at the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel, where the stitches from where her surgeon closed the wound were ripped, causing her to be rushed to hospital. She was then sent back home to Barbados, where she was notified she needed another surgery. Four months later, an independent surgeon from Barbados removed one of the screws implanted and found out that the graft from the first surgery did not take hold. The doctor also noticed her right knee was not positioned properly into the socket. There was nothing the doctor could do for this promising cricket star then and there. The next recommendation was for her to go to Canada. By the time the third surgery came around in Canada in April of 2018, the doctor informed her that based on the damage in her knee and the lack of cartilage, she would never play cricket again. And this is when, according to Shaquana, the support from Cricket West Indies stopped. She joins us on Zoom to talk about her ordeal. Shaquana, welcome to Sportsmax Zone. Thank you. Good evening to everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you, Shaquana, and I want you to start by, you know, just describing to our viewers in some short words how you felt going through this ordeal. I was reading your situation out of viewers, explaining to them, and I, for one, it touched me definitely. How have you been coping? First of all, I'll say I'm really thankful for life. However, I'm depressed. This injury has took a toll on me mentally, physically, emotionally, and it really hurts to see the state that I am in. And however, I can no longer play the sport that I grew up anymore. How have you been coping? What have you been doing in order to cope with this situation? Have you reached out to anyone? I did on numerous occasions. <laughs> To be honest, I'm just thankful for my family, my friends, you know. They have helped me a long way and I continue to ask for their support. And that's about it. I also urge Cricket West Indies as they would have supported me up until 2018 and they have abandoned me. Okay, so you said they have given you support up to 2018, which is when they realized that you could no longer play cricket, based on what the doctor had said, right? Well, I would not say that. Okay. I was scheduled for another operation in July. Right. Having said that, I've been trying to reach out to Mr. Grave, the physios, over Gulston, and no one have responded up to now. So I took it upon myself and I went to Canada in November right. 2018. How did you try to reach out to them? Did you send an email? Did you try to call them? You know, what, what was the communication like? So I asked for the communication was, I sent an email yeah. to Mr. Johnny Grave. And I've also tried to reach out to Dr. Bob Augustan via WhatsApp, yeah. via emails and like I said, Oh, no one has responded to that email. 
What has the response been from your teammates? Because you are a player with a lot of potential. Uh, the, the times that you played, you know, your results speak for itself. What have your teammates been saying to you? Have they abandoned you as well? Well, I'll be honest. There is about three players, to my knowledge, Marissa, Randy's boys, and Leanne Kirby. Also, Vanessa Watts, uh, she been, has been there with me while in Pegasus assisting me and they're, they're actually communicating with me and just helping me to stay strong. Shaquana, there's the body that's called WIPA, West Indies Players Association. Have you reached out to them? They represent the players and their duty is to assist you when things like this happen. Have you reached out? WIPA was the first first people our association I will have reaching out to. They have not gotten back to me. The last response was in 2019, wishing me a happy birthday. And that's about it. <laughs> Shaquana, why do you feel the response is like this? Like, why do you feel there's such a block? You know, I mean, you are such a young, promising cricketer. Um, based on your discussions with those around you, why do you feel that you're being um, given this unfair treatment? I'll be honest, I just believe with this posterior cruciate ligament injury that I had, it's rare. Yeah. So having said that, I believe I should have been sent to a doctor that I specialize firstly in doing these surgeries. And I believe this would have stopped all of my complications right now. Have you been in contact, you know, seeking any sort of legal advice, anything like that? Who's been advising you? Uh, I will say I remain hopeful that West Indies cricket can resolve the matter in a way that demonstrates that cricket West Indies is concerned about the welfare of their players. Shaquana, you, know? you say that, but it's been so long. It's been... Um, Yes, it's not months, it's years that this thing has been going on. So how do you intend to move further? Do you intend to send another email? Do you intend to call them again? Or are you going to sit and just hope that things get better? Well, I am seeking legal advice, but like I said, I'm hopeful that things will be resolved in a way that Cricket West Indies take the welfare of their players to the highest level. And what sort of resolution are you looking forward for? What do you expect from Cricket West Indies? If they were to reach out to you, what sort of help do you want? Well, to be honest, I am actually disabled. I have to eat, you know. I haven't played cricket since 2017. I haven't earned money and right now I am literally broke. Yeah. So it's a state where I've been spending all my savings and I think I, I really need to be reimbursed right now. Yeah. And something has to be done to help me live the quantity of life that I desire. Shaquana, in the meantime, how have you been living? What have you been doing? Are you going to school? What are you involved in? Do you plan to um, get a job? Are you working? What's happening? Like I said, I'm disabled. There's not much I could do. Right. But however, I've been doing some online courses as health is wealth, and it starts with me. All right. So uh, many of those involved in Cricket West Indies officials look at the sports mark zone. That's no secret. If you had to speak to them directly, what would you say to them? Yes, thanks. Cricket West Indies takes some ownership and some accountability for what has transpired. Shaquana. Someone needs to take up the responsibility. Someone has to. Shaquana, well, your plight, you know, it's something that's very close to our heart. And of course, we will try to reach out and do what we can do as well. I wish you all the best. And I hope this, you get some sort of resolution moving forward. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Of course, Shaquana Quinton, a former West Indies cricketer, uh, you know, her career has been stalled and it's beyond her control, basically. 
it's so unfortunate what has happened to her. Georgian Lance, you just heard from the young, uh, she was a promising female cricketer. And of course, you know, her story makes me extremely emotional. How did it grip you, George? Mm. Difficult. Um, I think West Indies Players Association, they have an opportunity to give the kind of assistance that will ameliorate the conditions that Shaquana is facing. I think Cricket West Indies can do more than they've done. And uh, I, I like the fact that she says she's holding off on going the legal route to see if Cricket West Indies and herself and her representatives can come to some agreement about the way forward where assistance is concerned. What is true is that she needs assistance urgently. And if WIPA can broker an agreement between her and the Cricket West Indies, rather than wait to see if Cricket West Indies will make a move, uh, that would be the better course of action to take for WIPA, for, for WIPA to prompt uh, the resolution of this issue in her favor. But it's tragic. It is a tragedy. And if you look up tragedy in the dictionary, this is a tragedy because it's a situation that has caused so much grief and strife for this young woman. And she needs help. Yeah, I think as the story now stands, it begs a response from the West Indies Players Association and Cricket West Indies as well, which we, to me, are compelled to, to get on the Sportsmax Zone within the next couple of days because um, there was a lot of emotion during that interview coming from Shaquana, yes. someone who has had been representing the West Indies since her mid-teens. I think she debuted at about 15 years old. And she was always a promising cricketer in Barbados from her secondary school days at the Garrison Secondary and um, rose to being a, a very, very solid bowling all-rounder. And, and, you know, it's, it's a very, very sad story. And as I said, as we sit here, I think what we've heard over the last 10 minutes from Shaquana now begs a response from WIPA and Cricket West Indies on, on her plight. I remember um, a match in particular because I'm always following the West Indies cricket very, very closely. And George and Lance, they were playing against England. And this young girl, she was extremely young. Um, she was able to bowl her best career figures ever, five for 16 in four overs. And to me, that just showed potential because what happened is England was batting and of course their openers, um, they were I think 69 without lost or something like that. And Shaquana just came in and she broke up that partnership. And I mean, England is not um, a cricket team that we should take like, lightly whatsoever. And I feel like she's impressed me from that day. You know, her excitement on the field, she was always full of so much life. So for me to sit here now and listen to Shaquana talk in that manner, tell me she is disabled and all these different things, you know, it, it strikes me. It definitely does. And it's a, it was a very emotional interview for me. Yeah, the, the incident or the match you just recounted, I think she was only 17 years old at that point. Correct. Uh, because she was a teenage star without question. And what, this is a very sad story. What I can say, though, I will definitely be reaching out to Johnny Grove to hear what he has to say moving forward. And I hope she gets some sort of resolution. All right, so on that note, we take a short break and we come back.